Rightio, well we have a little bit of success here. I'm going to turn on some lights up here from the 12 volt system. Uh, it's also the middle of the night so my battery volts are a little bit low whilst I'm pulling 4 amps for this project but see how we go. Now if you haven't seen my other videos you'll probably not know that I'm practicing with a Raspberry Pi Zero W and a Frankensteinish collection of adapters. But quite crucially what's happening here this monitor is running off 12 volts predominantly these two wires which go to a 130 amp hour deep cycle battery hidden in a cupboard somewhere else in the house it's charged by solar power these two leads here are connected to a 5 volt regulator behind here which is feeding the Raspberry Pi Zero so it's working quite well and having them powered separately means I can turn this VGA monitor on and off without problems. Now, one thing I've been working on for the last three days is trying to get YouTube to work on a Raspberry Pi Zero and everybody on the internet is telling me I can't do it. So let's watch this. If I can see, I'm looking at a monitor backwards. Anyway, we can see that it's loading and it's loading and you'll note that I've had to set the quality down a little bit to 480 standard definition but it does uh if it works it works here we go he's good old big clive one of my favorites so we can see it working there and on top of that i can skip forward i can skip back and it responds quite quickly actually a whole lot better than the old b plus is used to and i can still bring up a menu I can bring up the OS controls. It works really, really well. And on top of this, I've actually got SSH connection. If we skip over to here, I have an SSH connection. So I can actually reboot it from here. And uh, I don't have it booting directly into Kodi or an OS. I have it going to command line because I might want to do a couple of things with it hoping to take this in the field with me and run it entirely on solar power which would be very nice and at some point I might take a 5 gigahertz ubiquity link with me and point it at the head office from my summer office which is a fire tower I can do that I'll have free internet and a solar powered entertainment system just for those uh, short 10 minute ice train breaks because, uh, you know, most of the time I'm actually watching for fires. But we can see from here, not only can I run Kodi, I can also run the, uh, I think what they call it now is the Pixel. Um, it's a Googleized version of LightDM, which we're running Raspbian Stretch here. My apprentice is coming to help. She's heard me talking. You're not really fit for TV at the moment. Fresh out of the bath. Oh, a girl. Yep, and we're trying to help too. A monster. But we can see here, it's actually working. I only have a keyboard connected, so I can't do much else. But we have a full operating system. So I'm uh, quite happy with that. And even when we're running the GUI, we can still get into it with SSH. So I'm very, very happy with this. I'm going to reboot it again. But we're working, and I can also stream. Uh, I have another Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi 3, that is connected to 9 terabytes of storage, and it's providing a uh, reasonably secure FTP server, which I can access remotely. So once I have an internet connection, I can stream all my normal stuff from home as well. And uh, that also then means I can do a bit of work, so I can fill out my timesheets without having to come all the way home which would be very, very nice. I mean, I could do that from my phone, but when I'm in a fire tower, battery power is kind of limited. I want to keep my phone for doing phone things. Uh, as usually heat is an issue as well, whereas this is a little bit sacrificial. If this dies, I'm up for $15. If my phone dies, I'm up for much, much more. But uh, success, YouTube on a Raspberry Pi Zero W and it's fluid and smooth. Albeit not great resolution, but it works and it'll do the job. Anyway, I'll, uh, you'll see some new videos for me soon, I'm sure.